14K Golden Hearts, pendant in two halves. Customizable with up to 10 letters, names, dates, initials, anything you can dream up. Gift boxes for Laurel and Sam. Obviously. Nah, let's just open it that way again. You know I have looked in there. One of Dad's books with something stuck to it. Oh. Dear Terrence, thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book. An author's first published manuscript is something is a momentous occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognize my son in the subject matter. An author's work is the externalization of that which he holds dear and that which he fears. And in the respect, I believe your work has succeeded. But the lens through which, sorry, I was kind of thinking about that line, but the lens through which the person, which the personal shown was needlessly clouded by genre cliches and implausible dime store science fictional uh, like deus, deus ex machina I never know how to pronounce that word anyway the great authors speak of their lives Melu, in clear and honest tones the lens crystal that refracts their thoughts without distortion I congratulate you on surviving the great ordeal that is publication and rest assured that readers of your chosen genre will lap up copies hungrily. But I urge you to shed artifice. You can do better. Ah, which is what he wrote on his noteboards up top. With a father's love is encouragement, Richard Greenbrier. And this is the first book. So this is old. It's old that he wrote that. And I think that what I'm what I'm getting from that is his father. Richard Greenbrier, or Terry's father, wanted him to write nonfiction. At least that's that's what I'm taking, which and remember when we saw his book, I mentioned that I thought it seemed like that book, the title of that book made it seem more like nonfiction than uh, fiction. So I think maybe he's like glad he's a writer and he's proud of him. But on the other hand, he's kind of like, that's cool, but you really should be writing. Uh, non-fiction. That's my, again, my take on it. I think that's mom's citizenship stuff. A certificate of naturalization. I'm not going to read all that. March 8th, 1950 was when she was born. Janice Elizabeth Connolly Greenbrier. Connolly. That sounds familiar. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just thinking of that. So originally, she was not uh, a U.S. citizen. Uh, we'll go here first. Wow, a lot of newspapers. That postcard looks like an old one. Hey Sam, I'm writing to you from Mutanama Molt whatever falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone running the school has been to Oregon. But it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit. Here you come. L. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. For hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Yes, I, I get your underlying theme there. Seven newspaper. Mason's Pharmacy changes hands. The shoppers of Main Street were surprised today at the announcement that Mason's Pharmacy would change ownership for the first time since it's opened 10 years ago. Rumors swirled that the sudden sale of the pharmacy was transacted for a song. When asked about speculation that the deal had been signed for as little as $1, Mr. Samuel... Onstein, Oscar Mason's longtime assistant and now proprietor of Mason's Pharmacy, told the Register 
The specifics will remain between myself and Mr. Mason. Mr. Mason had taken sick and was unavailable for comments. Hmm. So he sold his pharmacy and went into, into basically, not hiding, but it seemed like he, he went into, became a recluse after he, he sold it for a long time. And then he, he died after quite a while. Um, I want to wait on that. It looks like a secret passage. Well, not, obviously not that secret because it's wide open, but oh, that's a nice little area down here. No mirrors still. Faucets don't appear to don't appear to work. Damn cassette players everywhere. X-Bray specs. Apparently buttons were a thing. Apparently I missed that fad. Read letter. Yolan Yolanda DeSato. Care of Hector and Maria DeSato. From Mexico. Miss Samantha Greenbuyer. One Arbor Hill. Dear Sam. So I guess Yolanda is her normal her, her first name and then she just goes by the other name that I've already forgotten yet again. Dear Sam. Oh, today's Spanish lesson. Fly equals mosca. Hubcap equals to a coup to pacabos. Sunbeam Raya de Raya de Sol your love to a molar, I think maybe I can't read it. I'm so happy you like the drawings. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell. You'd love Mexico, I think. Probably. The nature here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about algebra and the first mate lost. Oh, I think about Allegra and the first mate lost on a mysterious island where even the plants are out to get them. And then I think of them together, out there in the wilderness together, and I start thinking of you again. I lie here in bed and can almost feel you. I've been trying to save save it up for when we're together again. I haven't done a good job, okay? But I tried. Okay, enough about that. Your last letter got to me the day before we start driving back north. You'll be receiving this letter. We'll be racing this letter home. If I get home first, you, we can read it together. And yes, I'm taking tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time in the dark room. Oh, I'm sure. Lonnie. Okay, so apparently they went to Mexico at some point, or she did with her parents, presumably. Oh, there's some stuff in the trash here. Oh, damn it, nothing I can pick up. And I, yes, I did see that thing over there, by the way. Examine form, Sinwald Fine Jewelry. Samantha Greenbrier, two half-heart pendants, custom engraving, LNS. Sales associate, cash paid. Signature Bernadette Gabinski. Probably just the person who took their order. So it looks like she did get that heart, that heart thing. Put this cassette in for a short time. Ah, romantic music. Girl Scout, the band formerly known as Cub Scouts, set list, role model, authority, main squeeze, telling stories, instruction, first mate, self, Girl Scouts, denial. Lost their Damn singer. it. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm going to be at every single show. So apparently that is, that is, um, son of a bitch. Lib. Lib. What's her face? L singing on here on the uh, the cassette angel like voice guest room mr mason room that front door kitchen and the library bell is missing whoa and a safe 
Intercombination. Yeah, that I don't have. Stairs to basement. Libraries. There's a second floor. Okay, here's the porch. Washroom closets. So all of this to the right-hand side, we haven't even got to yet. Dining room, the kitchen, laundry, greenhouse, all that I haven't even made it to because the door's locked. So the basement. This is all the first floor. I don't think there's anything in here that, like, I don't know. Like, there's not any hidden areas marked, I don't think. Let's go. Hmm? Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. Oh. Something. Grab a scrap. Let's take it back in here so we can actually read it. Oh, God. There we go. It's a little better. Order something month. Two cases brandy, two cases rum, one barrel of whiskey. Governor remains very pleased with enforcement in Boone County. Believes this announcement shall hold for some time. Our arrangement. WR. I don't know if that's some kind of uh, reference to maybe prohibition. I don't know. Anyway, maybe he's doing something with alcohol. Definitely want to find the combination for that safe. Oh no! Wait, we went here. This was the right? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Down this tunnel. Let's see where this comes out at. You're not missing anything. Okay. Just love leaving notes everywhere. Ah, maybe this is like an alternate path to get to. Ah, yes. That place that was locked. That's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girl on stage was just so loud and real and awesome, and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Well, that's what we read or listened to before. The Psycho House Girl. The coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. Cool thing number one. Everybody in the hall thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past. Because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral... I can't really flip it over. Costumes. Skeletons and devils. Cheerleaders from the Smells Like Teen Spirit video. One girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. Red. At least one of those was. Let's wait for the, wait to go in there. One of those was something we got in a video thing. A video thing. Sorry, but it stops soon. I can't think anymore. Women outlaws. This will show you who runs things around this joint. She's tougher than a wild Mustang. No female is going to tell me. Dog! This is like totally girl power, the video game. Oh, it's already on. Uh, wipers. I want to pick it up just in case it... Uh, all right, just in case it triggered a story thing. This one's for you, gross man. Hey, look, there's none of those things. Girl justice now, okay? Captain A... And Reverend One, I don't know, had enough. The Great Something Riot of Something Something. Oh, heard enough. No, this one says had enough. This one says heard enough. Kicking against the patriarchy. Wow. Uh, heavens to Betsy. Girls to the front. Um, what does this say? Faith. Oh, fight back. Oh, it's a magazine. Fight against the patriarchy. Heard enough? Had enough. Ready to join the revolution as it stay? Oh, is this like a... Uh... Oh, I guess this is like their little zine. Or that was a thing. This... Like having your own zines and spreading them through colleges and all that. Is there a light over here? Oh, there is pizza box 
girl justice now. Potato chips, Sonic Youth. Good fellow senior high school, Samantha Greenbrier. Dear Mrs. Greenbrier, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. It shows initiative as and was well written, but it's not changed my mind on this matter. While I understand that Miss DeSato is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is that she defaced the school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. As to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in this incident, the fact is that no guilty party has become forward and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop, as it will only bring more unwanted attention to yourself, which I believe is what you claim began the whole incident in the first place. Principal Sheldon, gross man. Yeah, fight the letter. I don't get Damn patriarchy. Sometimes. Like her band, and our zine, and her hair, ah. and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation following orders no question and there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask don't tell like she's going to join the army and then have to lie about who she is she said they don't need to know what they don't need to know like it was no big deal this from the girl who trashed her locker to like defend my honor i've learned when to stop arguing though I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. So I'm guessing they did their little zine as some kind of pro, like as a start, kind of like it was a protest to some of that, maybe. I don't know. That's really loud. So there's also uh, no sconce. I don't know. Okay, that's that's kind of that's enough of that. That is absolutely enough of that. All right, let's see what's down here. Ah, sweet. New room. Not much of a secret if it's like that was easily available in the basement. Grab the textbook in Espanol. See. Si. Tell to Kelma County Forestry Service office offer of promotion. Bruce Pendleton, head of personnel. Dear head cons conservationist Greenbrier. Due to your exemplary management of the flintlock prescribed the burn operation last year and the services need for experienced personnel to direct regional operations, we would like to offer you the position of Regional Conservation Management Director responsible for operations throughout Northwestern Oregon. Your assistance will be sought to fill your previous your assistance will be sought to fill your previous position on site at the Flintlock National Forest. Your new posting will be at the Regional Management Building located at 128 Bullhorn, which should be much more convenient for your daily commute. Please respond as soon as possible regarding your decision. I very much like look forward to your reply. So that was February of this year. So like five, five months ago, six, four or five months ago. And this also reminds me of the, the drawing we saw earlier where it's like an hour over an hour commute time. So that probably that hour commute was probably to her old position. But how is she going to get with Ranger Rick, huh? Oh, sweet. We can see the other room or other window from here. Hey, Lonnie. Sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. Wow. She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away. And then when she's home, she takes it out on you. Like, because you're not a member of the family, she knows you won't call her on it, and I'm sorry. Haha, ha, it's okay. I know she's just jealous of our cool and freewheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have a mom every day. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know, I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian, and her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? <laughs> no, I'm going to guess that that's a no. Just kind of that feeling. Froth. Tin tincture. Blah, blah, blah. Guided by voices. Guided by voices. Is that like a Christian band? Maybe not. I'm thinking of something else. 
But I thought I heard something like Christian. But anyway, I don't know. I'm just rambling now.